Let's talk about two words, the word get and the word receive. We get mixed up. God never tells us to get anything. You cannot find a scripture that talks about one of the promises of God that says go get that promise. It either says you've got it, you have it, you are redeemed, you have been sanctified. And so God wants us to believe we already have it or he wants us to receive it by faith. We, we say things like this, did you get saved? Did you get the Holy Ghost? You ever heard that? Did you get the Holy Ghost? Did you get healed? <gasps> did you get your breakthrough? But the Bible says, to as many as received him, became, he gave him power to become the sons of God. Paul said to the Corinthians, have you received the Holy Spirit? We receive from God. You say, well, Joyce, what's the big deal? Well, here's the big deal. The word get, if you look it up in a dictionary, means to obtain by struggle and effort. You can't get God's mercy. You can't buy God's mercy. The only thing you can do is receive it. And it's very unreasonable. Mercy is downright ridiculous. And how can you reason out something that is unreasonable? I can't figure out why God would just forgive me for some of the stuff that I've done, but he can if he wants to because he's God. And mercy is part of who he is. It's not even just something he does. It's part of who he is. He just cannot help himself. It's like the love of God. God doesn't turn love on and off. I've been saying this to people, and they look at me really strange, so I'm going to see if you guys look at me as strange as most people do. Do you know that no matter where you're at in your walk with God right now, God will never love you any more than he does at this moment right now? If I behave better tomorrow than I did today, God's not going to love me more tomorrow than he did today. I may feel better about myself. And yes, things will work better for me, and that will make, it will please God, but he doesn't love in degrees. He doesn't love a little bit or a little bit more. It's not based on our behavior. God is love. It's not what, it's not what he does. It's who he is. He just can't help it. I'm sorry, but God just loves you. And he just is merciful. To receive, however, is such a beautiful word. To receive means to open up and as a receptacle to take in what's being offered. Wow. Well, God, I messed up again. I repent, Lord. I, I turn away from it. I don't want to act like that. I'm so sorry. Thank you for your forgiveness. I receive your mercy. I think that we need to take a little more time receiving when we pray. We pray, oh God, forgive me, God, forgive me, oh God, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. But we never take the time, very often we don't take the time to just stop. Just, just take even 30 seconds and just sit quietly in the presence of God and just believe I am receiving that forgiveness now. My sin is washed away. God is giving me mercy. You gotta receive the mercy of God. 